Hello everybody, Arcadedon is a third-person shooter from the developer Phony creators of Predator Hunting Grounds that takes elements on a different shooter genres and combines them into a satisfying gameplay loop. In a world dominated by the in-time and giant fun and fun co, one arcade still stands in its owner, G. Lee decides to create a game so great the Peter flock backwards to Arcade Dawn. The FFC catches wind of this, however, they infect the game with a virus. The player character plug is sent in to clean out. The first thing that stands out about Arcade Dawn is the art design and aesthetics. It has been described a cross between the Fortnite and movie Osmos Jones, with the gameplay very, very, very similar to the former. Everything from the movement, camera, position, aiming and finding will feel right at home for Fortnite players, but Arcadon has a couple of unique mechanics. For a start, there is a side mechanic that has show the zones that will damage enemies and objects along the way. There is also a gauntlet, the fire surge abilities, which are special attacks that have a cooldown period. Armageddon has character customization, which not only player change outfits and skins on the fly, but also allows them to create a loadout, during surge abilities and equip passive abilities as well. All these elements work together well, and good build is essential to survive to adventure mode, complete to all challenges necessary to progress the story and acquire better gear. Like Returnal, players will make their way through different battle areas and must complete certain objectives to proceed but it's not a roguelike. Instead, players have to get throughout increasingly difficult stages in a single run in order to complete challenges, and if a challenge is not completed when the player dies, its progress is reserved for the next turn. Challenges are available in two ways. First, from the variety of the gangs that the players must recruit to fight back against the FFC. Each gang has a set of challenges that will not only get their alignment when completed but will give unique cosmetics and rewards for competing optional challenges. The second way is to complete daily challenges, they are a little more intense but earn players a spot on the leaderboard if their run is good enough. A Kaganon has a variety of ways to speed up each level to keep things fresh and player invested. A large variety of quirky and animated weapons can be found in color chest, with a color corresponding to the rarity and quality of the weapon. On the macro level, each stage is comprised of the areas that require players to complete the search and objectives, such as surviving out the way of enemies, destroying glitches and capturing different points among the others. As stage progress, more enemies are introduced to the up challenge and adds some much needed variety. The final elements are optional boss fight, which become available when a certain amount of progress is made. To start the fight, players must destroy a crystal and jump through the potential. The difficulty is the fight depends on the player's loadout and upon completing the fight the stages ends to move to the next. There are a few bugs, such as aim assist detection to the box and differing in camera, but they are few and far between an errant major hindrance to the gameplay. Arcadedon is the strong game with a lot of offer, with more come to lunch, players can expect the ever growing game this is addicting and easy to jump in of, of it. So thank you for watching, the game is really really addicted. Have a good one. Goodbye.